morning guys Ish. it has been a very very long night a cold one with so much cold you know it's raining everywhere and it's cold so it's our morning here and we just woke up so i'm going to today i want to make for you a video and show you how we do so it's very early in the morning around six here so we are going to do a video a morning routine video on what to do when you wake up in the morning until making breakfast and all that so come with me i'm just waking up from this bed and i want to do you see how we sleep here we sleep prepared you can see prepared to do everything so guys let's go i want to go and brush my teeth and start the day you can see the house needs some cleaning and everything so let's start our day This is our water. I want to wash my face and brush my teeth. So guys, here we are. I want to take a to get the toothbrush from the village. You see this tree has the best toothbrush here in the village. I don't know which one now to take. Let me just take this one. I make it myself. Mm -hmm. So I will make a toothbrush. First, you can see. Boom. I'm going to brush my teeth with this. the same water to wash our face. So guys, let's start the day. You've seen? I've already, this is like fresh in here. Apart from showering, this is fresh. And so we keep this one for the next day. Have to keep it somewhere. I'm going to use it tomorrow. So let's go start the day. So guys, we are going to start sweeping the compound. You see, look at our brooms. These are just homemade, handmade brooms. We just get branches there. Then we make, we sweep. Yesterday it very fast. It's very, very fast. is for the chicken <laughs> bed for the chicken <laughs> so we put it there so guys as you can see we are done This one, like this. And by the way, these are always manure, so we collect them somewhere here so that when we want to plant things, we just plant. 
we use that one as the manure for planting, or do we call them fertilizers? Uh, compound is okay. I think next you're going to do some washing, just a few clothes, because we don't have many. You know, here sometimes we wash every day. So let's go and wash some clothes. So guys, here are our clothes, some few of them. We're going to do the cleaning. Just a few. Clothes here, they are always very, very dirty. Very dirty. Because as you can see, the compound kids are playing around and all that. And we were told to go and wash clothes. By the way, I like washing clothes. I'm a fan of doing the house chores. But my problem, I told you guys, we are going to the shamba, to the farm. That's where the problem comes in. But doing this is always my favorite. So, this is our typical morning routine. And you know we like washing very early in the morning because you know we wash from outside and we are the washing machines. So you have to wash very early in the morning before it's, um, it's too hot. I have to wash this. Apa apa na ko. Nini. So guys, we are moving so fast. I told you you have to wash so fast before it gets too hot outside. So that's why I'm in a hurry to finish. the first round this is the second round and then we are going to this guys here are our clothes this is how we hang our clothes here in the village So guys, because here we never have enough hanging lines, we use such blocks or anything to put our clothes as you can see and they are going just to dry up and by the way they dry up so fast. So this is how we do the washing. We put the clothes there. 
So guys, we still have more to go, but we are almost done and we are going to clean. Guys, we are done with washing the clothes. We want to clean this house. You see the way it's dirty, show them they can see. People here, they don't mind. They just step on the floor and they have mud on their shoes. Some, they don't have shoes. They just walk bare feet. They are walking and then from outside, inside. So we are going to clean the house as fast as we can. And after that, we are going to cook breakfast. And guess what? We are going to cook porridge. Tamarind porridge. Have you ever tasted tamarind porridge? Like, that's what I'm going to cook today for breakfast. So stay tuned. We clean the house first and then we go to the kitchen. So guys, I'm done with the cleaning the rooms. Now we're going to clean the sitting room. Sitting room is very, very dirty. So because I have to move this, I have to put that table over there like that. And then I think I'm going to start with which place? This side. You can see the way the house is very dirty. So let's start with this side first. You can see how dirty the water is and what is coming out from there when the water is finished. So, So guys, we had to change water because eh, the house we are done with this side because we can't move the bed. We just have to bend and clean down there. So guys, we are done. You can see inside how the house looks like. Very clean now. Yeah, I just cleaned inside and that's how clean it is. You can see the difference before and after. So let me clean outside here. That's our veranda. Before I fall down, it's very slippery, so let's put it here and clean this. You 
can see how dirty our veranda is because it's raining and I told you people here they just stay. They don't care. But we can't let it that oh, it takes a lot of time by the way cleaning the house here and you can't make breakfast with a dirty house. So I have to clean this and as I told you we are making tamarind porridge for breakfast. And see our cat it's hungry it wants to eat the beautiful kitten is there I think I'll just go the last round. Here. We are done with the house, we move to the next routine. This is what happens here every morning when you wake up. Our tamarind here, how our tamarind looks like. This one was imported from coast Mombasa. So we are going to soak this. And then I'm going to show you how we use it to, to put it in porridge. It becomes so delicious. So we soak it here for some few minutes. I don't know if we should soak all of it or just part of it. Let's just soak part of it that way. Because we're not going to make too much porridge like that. So we keep we're going to soak that yes sir. so let's give it some few minutes before we come and make it so guys here we have our tamarind it has already we soaked it so we make it like that to get the soup from it this is it so look how it's done Make sure your hands are clean before doing this. You can see we remove this all the way. So we have our tamarind. Put like this. We remove all this. We remove it so as you can see. So we let it cool. We can use a sieve. So we are going to put water for porridge. We are not going to cook a lot because there are no so many people here. I think two cups is just enough. Porridge. That is enough. So we come and put it on our three stones. Stones. Here. Remember, we are cooking tamarind porridge, and it's the brown porridge. So let me let the water boil. Put our flour here. Here is our brown flour. Told you are not cooking a lot of porridge, just a few. Think that is enough. Here is our the stone first. Mm. 
brown porridge with tamarind. So you can see. So we check on our water. If it's boiling, you can see the water is almost boiling. Come to boil. Our water is okay. We are going to put the mixture here and we keep on stirring. As you can see, when it becomes thick, we add some water. too much though and we keep on stirring and stirring and stirring until it's not that thick and not that yeah so this is brown porridge very nutritious and even good for the babies so recommendable for the babies you can try this for your king Our porridge for breakfast. I add some more water. I say water, not water. Water. <laughs> water. You can see the people who are waiting to take this porridge. <laughs> Talking from behind. And see our porridge. We serve this one with potatoes, cassava, not sweet potatoes, cassava, green bananas, even the sweet bananas. You can serve with anything. You see? Because we don't have a, a skin, we are going to remove it this way. Then we leave the residue down along like that you can see. But the residue, so this is our tamarind soup. So we are going to add it here at this point so that it boils together. You know, we can add a lot and it becomes. Sour or bitter. I don't know which one between sour and bitter, but you don't need to add too much. Just a little bit of it. Let me test. I see. Can add some more to test. You can you you can add sugar if you have. You can add anything. To make it tasty the way you like, you can add blue band. Those people who like blue band, you can put blue band for the kid. Still okay and nutritious and very healthy. So we are going to let it boil for some few minutes. Then it will be ready to be served and breakfast will be done. You see how our routine is very easy. Now see our porridge. Look at that boiling and boiling this one is now ready you can serve it but because it's for the kids you have to let it cool so we're just going to serve and let them cool let it cool and then so i have to remove it from the fire and get something to oh village life
Eh, here is our porridge. This one we don't want it to go in here, so we remove it from here. Like that. So, here is our porridge. As you can see it, so I'm going to serve into this three cups. Porridge. Tamarind porridge, as you can see. There it is. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much for always watching my videos, commenting, sharing. I'm so grateful for that and I'm so happy. I can't just explain, but I'm so happy for you guys. The support is too much, and I'm um, just saying, may God bless you. Until next time, bye bye.